yes, I, I do have a specific way I mark up my script. As I'm reading the first time, I, I just make notes that are personal to me that I know are going to help my eye navigate the page to minimize the chance of having to do multiple takes all the time. Um, and I also make different colored marks next to different characters' dialogue, which will help me do the switching back and forth from person to person. Uh, to create character voices, I will take a list that I've made of all the characters, and I'll put stars next to the main characters. And first and foremost, I try to get a sense of their personality before I think about the voice. Because oftentimes if I know what they're like as a person, I don't really need, may not need to make, make a really distinct vocal choice. Um, and then from there, I'll go through the technical element of actually finding the, the physical element of the voice itself. When I'm preparing uh, an audiobook performance, I, I just kind of have this, this image in my head of the, the words are this series of dots. And my job as I'm preparing is to create an outline, just connect all those dots, and then, then trust that when I'm in the booth, in the moment, during the session, that then we'll fill in all those colors to make it a complete picture. Uh, that's how I like to look at the process, that balance between preparation and spontaneity.